I received these watercolor pencils from the art company Mayped in exchange for an honest review. I have never heard of this brand before, so I was interested to test them out. I have high standards for watercolor pencils, and I will be brutally honest with you as I review these pencils. To review this set, this set comes with 24 colors and a small paintbrush. I like to have a variety of sizes to choose from, so I have a few extra brushes here. I decided to put these watercolor pencils to a test against some other brands. I have Sargent, Crayola, ProArt, Alex, Koh&Noor, and the Mayped ones. I already colored in swatches of these colors on this paper. First, I am dipping my paintbrush in water and then gently rubbing it on the swatches. The water on the pencil will activate the color and it will blend. The Sargent pencils blend, but you can still see the pencil marks through the color. There are little hairs coming off of this brush, which drive me nuts, so I probably will not be using this brush very much. You can buy better quality brushes at an art store. I will continue to show you these other brands. In these other swatches, you can still see the pencil marks through the watercolor. Some people might like that look, but it is not my favorite. I like to have a smooth blend of color. The Koh&Noor and ProArt pencils, I think I got at a conference as a free sample. I think they blend pretty well because they are a higher quality. When using watercolor pencils, the colors will blend like regular watercolors do. They'll mix together. The Mayped colors are on the bottom row. I think they blend pretty nicely. And they are more affordable for an elementary classroom. They are really fun to play with and the kids like watercolor pencils. Out of the different types of watercolor pencils I have, I like these Mayped ones the best and I think they blend the smoothest. So after I tried out this free pack, I went ahead and bought a bunch more packs for my classroom.